Lighting is very important when you're doing painting at home. It'll be very difficult to judge your values and colors if you don't have a good lighting. I've just got a new lighting for my new studio space. I am quite happy with it, so I want to share it with you, just in case if you're looking for a new lighting solution. Hello my coffee buddy, this is Eric from Cafe Watercolor. So it's been a month since I moved to a new home and a new studio space. I got things pretty much all set up for painting and video. As a matter of fact, I am already starting to do some commission works. I have some nice LED light hanging on the ceiling. At first I thought it would be enough, but after I set up everything I realized this is not sufficient for what I want to do. I have a GoPro mounted on top of my painting for video recording and live stream. What happened is it is casting a shadow on the painting and it's really bugging me. In order for me to solve that problem, I need a light under the GoPro to eliminate that shadow. In my previous studio, I did have a clamp light on the side, but it is heavy, bulky, and actually is a little bit broken, so I got rid of it. After some research online, I bought a new LED clamp light for my painting. I consider three things when I select the light. The first is brightness. The purpose of having additional lighting is to make sure things are well lit, so if the light is not bright enough, that defeat the purpose. The second thing is the temperature. Not physically how hot it is, although I don't like traditional tungsten lighting for that very reason, because they become really hot. But I'm talking about the color that it emits. I always paint under 5000 Kelvin light because it is a nice neutral white daylight. The color appears to be most neutral under that light. Painting under a light that is too warm or too cool will throw your judgment of colors off. The third is the shape of the light. The light need to have a good coverage of the image. If it is a hard spotlight, it will have a bright spot that is extra bright while the rest of the paintings are dark. So with these three criteria in mind, I found my new lighting and I'm going to share with you the unboxing and show you how it actually looks. Okay, so I'm unboxing five LED desk lamp. Now this LED lamp should have 5000 Kelvin of lighting temperature color, which is a very nice daylight white, which is great for painting. It is also very long, so hopefully it'll give me a nice flat pool of light, nice floodlight. Okay, so inside the box we have the light itself and the clamp with a flexible neck which actually feels pretty good. So the clamp here is really sturdy, this screw type clamp as opposed to spring. And you can actually change how wide you need it to open and the AC adapter and some hardware. And first thing I noticed that it is a lot bigger than what I expected. To give you a reference, this is a 14 by 20 inch paper. And you can see this is actually wider than 20 inch. So 14 by 20 is actually one of the larger dimension that I work with. The largest I've been working is 18 by 24, but I think with this width, it's still going to have no problem lighting up the whole paper. Now let's try to install it on my drawing station and see how it works. Okay, so I have the neck clamp bit on the end of my desk in the back and I haven't connected the light yet. You have to connect to the neck because the neck connects to the power source and so on. And I also originally wanted to clamp on my wall shelf, but the neck is really just too long for that. So I think to clamp it on the back of the desk will be a better choice. Okay, so something you want to remember to do is that after you attach the light to the neck, you want to put into that screw. You want to screw this little screw in. Okay, otherwise, it will be very easy. You can just pull it off and it will disconnect the light from the neck and the power source. It will just go off. So if you want to grab this to adjust, which I probably won't recommend that uh, because you're giving it a very weak point. 
So I will probably just grab the whole neck and adjust it if I wanted to. And the neck is very flexible, actually. Its neck is very easy to adjust, but it doesn't seem weak. So some of the goose neck can feel very weak after you adjust to a certain point, the weight of the light can actually bend it further. This neck seems to be very, very sturdy and actually feels pretty good. But granted, the light itself is very, very light. So I grab a random painting to test out the light. Okay, so now the light is installed here. I lock the exposure so it's not going to adjust the brightness. So this is about as bright as I see right now. And I can turn the light off so you can tell the difference. Now, in real life, it's still visible. My eyes can adjust to it. But it's always nice to have some extra light just for taking photos or just working a little bit better. And if you press this mode button, which is kind of touch sensor, it doesn't really have a click to it you will be able to change the temperature of lighting. So according to the manual, this is 3000 Kelvin, 4000 Kelvin, 5000 Kelvin, 65,000 Kelvin. So 65,000 Kelvin is actually getting pretty cool. I think this is a little bit bluer than a neutral white. And 3000 Kelvin gets really warm. So. I don't recommend you paint under this light. And, but this type of warm light is actually pretty common in a regular in-house tungsten light. So be really careful with the light you're painted under. The 4000 Kelvin and the 5000 Kelvin looks really good. So I usually paint under 5000 Kelvin. So this is a very nice bright white. And with these two buttons right here, you can change the brightness so if you don't need that bright you can actually tweak it okay i blast it into full brightness right now but i can turn it down a little bit and this is actually nice that you can change the color temperatures let's say if you are not actually painting if you're just doing drawing this can be a little bit easier on the eyes if you're just reading you know this serve also as a desktop light you can also read as well and the warmer lighting usually easier on the eyes so if you're doing drawing just black and white drawing this can be really nice and this is what the button looks like and like i said this is like a touch sensor button so you don't really actually have a click but that doesn't really bothers me and it doesn't have any sound when you press on it too some light do so anyways i still think this is really nice and I like it, it's a clamp light, so it's not, you don't need a base, so it's not going to take up any footprints on your desk, because, yeah, my desk is pretty full and messy right now, because I just moved. Now, just for a comparison, I'm going to turn this light off, and I'm going to turn on another light bulb. So, this is one of the light bulbs I used to use. It's a 5000 Kelvin LED light bulb. It's supposed to be a floodlight, so it actually doesn't look that bad. It's actually it's okay, but it's really not that bright. And if you look closely, you can see there's a hot spot, especially if you're taking a photo. So definitely you see some bright lighter light here, and then you see some darker around the corner because that's a hot spot, even though it's a very soft hot spot. And compared to this, when I turn this on, see how even that light is just because that is so large. So even on a larger painting, you're still going to have a nice consistent light throughout. So a very, very nice lighting. Okay, so I'm actually grabbing a larger painting. This is a 14 by 20 painting. This is Cypress Point Golf Course. And I painted a few years ago. And as you can see, still very nice even light. And since the light is pretty soft, even when I put my hands on it, the shadow is very, very soft and it's not really disturbing at all. So again, very nice lighting to work with. Okay, I'm doing a sheen test right now. I just laid this wash down. Okay, so it's still pretty wet. You can tell by the bead underneath. And you do see a little bit of reflection. You do see a little bit of shine, which is fine. This is the angle that I am looking at. You see a little bit of shine, but that tells how wet my wash is. 
but the angle of the light can be adjusted and this is actually really good. So one thing that I really appreciate has is the memory function. So what I mean by that is when I turn it off and turn it on again, it remembers the brightness and the colors that I turned off with. So if I change the color to like a warm color and I dim it down and I turn it off and I turn it on again, it will remember the setting that I had. So let me switch to 5000 Kelvin and turn it up. So if I turn it off again and turn it on, it's going to remember whatever setting it is. So I mean, it may not seem much, but it will be a pain if every single time I turn on the light, I will have to change the color and the brightness. So I really appreciate it actually done that. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this brief lighting review. If you're looking for a new lighting and want to get the same one that I've got, you can use the link down below. If you are new here and you like what I do, please give a like and subscribe for more watercolor video. You can also go to my website at cafewatercolor.com to download my free fast track watercolor ebook. I am Eric from Cafe Watercolor. See you soon.